So this challenge is a showcase of a Dark Castle bug. Not sure what it is. It's not Room and Trees. We've seen that, but this is not it. Slow balloons, stronger ceramics, one tower. Okay, beat his UMG. Power Lord. Okay, I can't afford it. So I wonder if Mob affects the UMG if we don't remove trees. Let's see. I don't think so, because you see... You see very briefly that there's a uh, red over the tree, so only tax now. Yeah. I'm not sure what this gets us. I know that the balloons get smaller when they get to the drawbridge, but... <laughs> I'm not sure what that accomplishes. Okay, we got BFBs. This doesn't do anything. So the title might be a hint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the hat. It's a hat thing. The title implies it's gotta be a sniper. Let's remove trees. Okay, it doesn't attack. Is that the bug? <laughs> it doesn't attack. That doesn't help us beat the challenge though, but that's probably a bug, I think. Absolutely, sir. That tree bug has an impact on the other bug. Okay, that makes sense. What if we remove the trees first? And then drop the sniper. And now it shoots. But again, that's only gonna mean it pops the BFBs earlier over here. And that doesn't get us anywhere closer to the answer. Unless we want to change the sniper. So I could sell this for a boat now. That will get one of four. Still no bug in sight. Maybe we'll find it eventually, if we keep doing this. Uh, you see the shrinking, but yeah, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> what to do with this info? Remove. Drop sniper. Now what? Maybe Elite Defender might change things. Because the attack speed, guys, the attack speed. If you know about this guy, that's almost 29k, by the way. If you know about it, it increases attack speed when the balloons get close to the exits. But maybe there's a bug that makes it go infinite because of the drawbridge thing. Because of the fact that balloons get smaller and smaller. Oh, maybe. Let's see. So there's two of four. Shooting mad bolts right now. And we're dead. <laughs> so what do we do from there? Maybe leave the defender earlier. Because I think I delayed it. I paused for a minute there. Oh wait, is the bug the fact that this sniper is really fast shooting? Look at that shit. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think his damage goes up that high, guys. That quickly. So, I don't know how the bug works, it just shoots really, really friggin' fast. That's it? That's like 501k DPS, almost, almost. Yeah, we're gonna beat that. 3 or 4? Right? No, we're dead. Okay. <laughs> There's a little more to this challenge than just, uh, a shit ton of damage. Like, yeah, it, it definitely doesn't shoot this fast, like, I'll show you an example in Sandbox. But let's go again. 2 zero, 5 immediately, look at that. Right off the bat. Already at 5k. Is there any turning we need to do to turn these cerams to uh, not pinks? For an exclamation, it shoots 8 times speed because there are 4 paths that converge in Dark Castle, I see. And the reason why it's, it only works on this map is because it's the only map that has converging. Interesting. Let's. We should play a Dark Castle game, eh? We should totally play something really hard, Dark Castle. Okay, so now that we know this glitch, how do we beat the challenge? The bugged increase stops when the four pads meet. Okay, I see. Maybe we just have them strong. Get all the BFBs, mobs, status rams, and then get a tower for cleanup. So what's a good cleanup tower? Um, glue is okay. Like that? Buzz. Super Maelstrom. Can I get the ability up? Oh, I can't afford it. Ah, pink's too fast. Glue Striker. Got it? So, we just gotta activate the ability. I'm not sure we're gonna get it though. No, we're not gonna get it. Pause again. We have them all glued. Maybe it's a Maelstrom that we gotta get early. I'm not sure. Not working. Let's try more Glaives. Now. Oh my god, that's not more Glaives. This is a more glaives. Unfortunately, those rams are thick. Thick. Wallfire probably doesn't even pop rams either. If I can afford an Ultra Jug, this may work. Um, Ultra Jug, got it. 520? Come on. Let this be the one. No, it's not enough bouncy. Not enough things to bounce off of. Let's get a Liquid Fire if I can. 
If I can sell before it turns to pinks, liquefier. Yes, it works. We didn't, we don't see any pinks, but does it shoot fast enough? It doesn't. No. Ah. If it did, I would see that working. I can't stall for ground zero. Unless I glue it all. Can I glue it all on the ground zero? Can't afford it. I can't afford it. <laughs> it's too much money. Actually, I, I can. It's same as Ultra Jug. Wait. Wait. Glue... Now. 032. Come on, glue that. And then... Ground zero. Oh, oh, we can afford it. Nice, nice, nice. 343. Unfortunately, that one got unglued. Shit. That actually could work. Alright, timing, timing, timing. Good. Uh, here. Got it. They're all super slow. And now... Come on. We need 15 seconds. 15. Yep, we got it. Nice challenge, man. That's a really... A really good challenge. Not just including glitch, but also including a challenge afterward. So good to know. I'm definitely going to abuse the Elite Defender before uh, it gets patched in the next update. Alright, Sandbox. One Elite Defender with primary training or jungle drums. One ZMG on this map. How does it do? Let's take a look. Well, safe to say, I think it does beat everything. Maybe a few yell yells aside. Yeah, those are wood spikes. Happen out a little bit. We do lose a few lives. About 100 or so. And then now we'll try Logs, the easiest map. Let's just see the difference here. Easiest map, can it be the ZMG? Well, even without the glitch, it's still doing pretty well so far. Let's see, yeah, it pops pretty early. I mean, it's taken a long time to take down those yellows, so I'm not sure, there's a chance. Just one BFB got like, past halfway. I'm not sure. But it does look like it's gonna beat it. I realize that, yeah, the Elite Defender does attack faster when it's close to the exits. So I shouldn't be surprised. So, it's safe to say that, um, Dark Castle is not easy on the logs. At least for the Sniper. So, eventually I want to get to uh, Chimps Dark Castle, and then Elite Defender it up. But, ABR is good for now. So, let's get Ben. Because he needed money for Tier 5s. Okay, we beat 40, right? Oh, it's fortified! Uh-oh, we're dead. Who's gonna continue, boys? Cause that's a GG. Nice. Alright, thanks. Um, 203 Sniper. I realize that the tree is- oh yeah, it's blocking the way. Let's just do that real quick. We should have this right. Alchemist, Sub, 203 Sniper, more trees clearing, yeah, there we go. Now let's get that Elite Defender, shall we? Let's collect now. So there's number one on first get Elite Defender. Let's do it. How OP is it? I mean, you already see it right now, you see? The damage? It's shooting up. We could probably sell the, the towers at this point, like some of them. Like, we don't need cow drops. We don't need the wizards. Apparently, four Prune Brood Elite Defenders can solo and pop on mode. That's crazy. Anyways, you gotta make sure that buff. Maybe eventually Prune Brew, but nobody's farming enough. Plain 0402. Let's get number two, and only two of two. Smurf Blade. There we go. Can two Elite Defenders solo 63? Probably. You'll see right here, very soon. Like, watch here, watch here. No abilities, nothing. Straight up turn to blues. Easy. You know what? I'm done. Let's sell it. We got enough money. Sell the banks. It's sniper time. And I assume now they're gonna shoot even faster. Only time will tell. Oh, yellows. Wait. Okay, we actually might need a perma spike. There's a chance. This might fail us, so let's get player, uh, which, who's is this? Player 3? So, player 3, perma spike, yeah, there we go. Those y'all are kind of scary. Yeah, that's why they're scary. <laughs> Alright, take 2. So, again, updates. 167k pops, and counting. Yeah, this one got reset. So, we'll never know exactly. Easy game, I expect pop master. Otherwise, yeah, there we go. So, let's do a harder difficulty. Because that was obviously too easy. Alright, in pop mode, let's go. Alright, Banks full, let me get number one. Boom and boom, Elite Defender. Don't mind me just getting Pop Master before anyone uh, gets theirs. Do I like cartoons? Not really. 
Except for SpongeBob, I think Spo everyone likes SpongeBob, right? It's the universal loved cartoon. No matter if you're a kid or an adult. Uh oh, there was round 76. So that's what happens, guys, when you sell all your towers and get two zero five defenders. It's always yellows. Yep. So we're still at two out of four defenders. Who's missing it? Player three, player four. Let's get them ASAP. All right, there's number three. And number four, where is it? There we go, yes. All in the center. All in the front. Oh, 78. Oh, we're dead again. Nice. This co-op game is going just excellent, isn't it? Four lead defenders are unstoppable. The proof is right here. Literally unbeatable. Or an ice. You know what? Let me get an ice tower. I think the max um, effectiveness of the Arctic Wind might help. It can slow down infinite balloons. It just can't freeze all of it, but it doesn't matter. We just gotta slow it down, man. There it is. Four elite defenders versus Ren 100. Who wins? And of course, Permaspec is back, just in case we leak some uh, yellows and pinks. Same with the Ice Tower. Also, in case you're wondering, uh, you can only stack once the Elite Sniper buff. So four Elite Snipers do not affect anything. They don't increase your Sniper's attack speed any more than that. So that's where it ends. What's my favorite Spongebob episode? Probably the one where uh, Mr. Krabs sells Spongebob for 50 cents. That's taking greed to another level. If this was greed, Mr. Krabs would have uh, stacked these farms with the stacking glitch. Even though he can't stack farms with the stacking glitch, Mr. Krabs is so greedy, he would have stacked it tenfold. There's a level up. Clicked it so fast that I don't even know what level I got. But yeah, surprisingly I'm actually not level 100, level 150, the max level in this game. Which might surprise some of you cause, cause, since I've been playing this game like since the start of time. But not surprising if you consider the fact that I've been playing challenges for the last 5 months, which don't add XP. And the fact that I don't really play the game outside of, uh, you know, for the YouTubes and for the streams. I actually just realized something. Free play, AK round 80+, plus, actually is good for the, the snipers because you see, there's no more random uh, yellows and pinks because Super Strams are beefy. They only leak one balloon instead of two. And therefore, this ice has zero pops. This spike is at zero. Poor perm spike. You really weren't kidding when you said uh, four elite snipers plus perm brew easily beats round 100. All of which we could use uh, for chimps mode. That's gonna be the ultimate test. This is just a uh, playground, honestly. DDTs? <laughs> Not even heard of them. And here's 98. Balloons are actually getting pretty far. And when I say pretty far, I mean uh, actually one inch past the screen. I believe the blue aura right now is, uh, what do you call it? The monkey boost? I very rarely see that. Probably the first time in like years. They're all in first, yep, they should be in first. This guy's on elite. Either way, we should have this though. Come on. Our goal is to get this ice or the perfect to zero pops. Yeah, we're currently doing that pretty nicely. Alrighty. But as you see, 99 easy, ran 100. Watch that bag get shredded instantly. I'm pretty sure it's a monkey boost, based on the upwards pattern. There it is. Easy game, easy life, Popmaster as always. Alright, time for the new challenge. 